Today we're doing the worst lure fishing challenge at Wally World. It's been a minute since oh. we filmed a video at Walmart, especially going in and picking out the tackle. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content and let your boy know if you want to see more videos like this, drop a comment down below, let us know, and we'll make sure to put out the content that you guys want. I'm also with my boy Fletcher the Fisherman today, on, and we're going to be trying to make it happen. So we're going to try to catch some fish. It might rain in a few hours, so I'm <laughs> hoping it's not. But let's go ahead and get inside, get the lures, and see what we can do today. We're gonna be picking four lures, so that means you get two Ooh. and I get two, okay? I'm gonna actually Are you give going you, first or me? You're going first, oh. buddy. I'm gonna let you do it, so go ahead and take a good peek at the wall. Oh man, dude, there's, figure a, out what you think. there's a lot the going lures. There's Not a, the best lures, Flusher. The, the worst lures. lures. What you think, though? There's a lot going on in here. Um, Let's see. Dude, every time I see this, I'm like, what in the world is this? It's like literally a vegetable. <laughs> it's like a gorg, <laughs> like a mini gorg with a, a blade on it. So we're gonna go with this thing. I've, I've never actually used one of these things, but. Yeah, it does look a little odd. <laughs> like, what, what is this supposed to be? A frog maybe? I don't know. It's like a frog buzzbait crankbait. Yeah, we got some crazy like looking soft plastics. I could go with that, like some crazy colors, but I wanna try to find something that's more like uniquely weird. What is this, dude? What? What is it? Dude, this looks like a this looks like a frog you ran over with a so, car. I'm gonna tell you, dude. These are the worst lures today. It depends how angry you want to get because you know the <laughs> hookup ratio on that's gonna be a lot better. Look at that hook, though. I like mean, that, dude, that's gonna be horrible. This is a squish frog. This is a roadkill frog. You decide how angry you want to get today. <laughs> that is decided if you want to pick that one over that one. I think I'm going with these two. I think this is my pick. You're gonna go with those two? Yeah, the, the worst right. lures. That's I cool. Mean, that's the goal, right? Yeah, no, that that's perfectly fine. So two frogs. Two yeah. different frogs. Two frogs. And well, not your stereotypical Well, you got a vegetable frogs. and a frog. All right, vegetable and then a, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, since you picked that, I think I need to pick a soft plastic. Don't you think? Like yeah. we need we need a soft plastic. So with that being said, I feel like out of all these, the worms and the crawls, I feel like they're all good baits for the most part. Like I don't really see anything that's like bad. But I feel like we could pick out like a weird color. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something like something a little odd. Yeah, something just off that like you normally wouldn't fish. So let's pull out a few and then we'll kinda we'll kinda rate this them. This is kinda looking a little odd. Dude, that's looking smelly to that's me. That's like uh, <laughs> That's like a shad color that you wipe your butthole with. Yeah, that, that is an interesting one. Look at that one too. I mean, it's just a chartreuse tail, but it, I don't know. I feel like that's not bad enough. We need something worse. Look at these, dude. It's like a tiger worm. Sweet tater pie. Sweet tater pie. That's sweet tater dude. pie, yeah. dude, over here uh, on Thanksgiving. Here we go with vegetables. Sweet tater pie. Vegetables the theme today. Uh, yeah. Sweet tater, sweet tater pie. Do it. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Strike King sweet tater pie. By the way, if you guys wanna get a discount, Strike King lures, link will be down below. Yeah, that is a, hold on, man. Hold on. I gotta get a close shot, man. Look at that. Look at that tater pie. Mm. I mean, I could just take a bite right now. Uh, I'll get, I'll get it think? to me, dude. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> that is my first lure. Let's see what else we got. Should I go with a hard bait or another soft bait? I guess uh, it depends. Hey, whatever floats your boat, man. What, what you feeling with? What am I feeling? Oh, well, I know the, the people got pissed at you last time, yeah. back in the day, for picking a beetle spin. Yeah, everybody like <laughs> flamed me in the comments. I like did a worse lure challenge and I used the beetle spin and people did not like that. And a rooster tail, which I mean, they're both good. Honestly, Bro. I don't know how you think those are bad. Those are some, those are some OG baits, dude. They are OG baits. The rooster tail smokes them. The beetle spin, I haven't had the most luck with, but I know people who have. <laughs> I'm not gonna go with the beetle spin. I don't wanna trigger too many people. <laughs> Any hard baits. See, this is hard. I really thought there was gonna be worse lures here. I know. You know what I mean? I thought there they was gonna really be. They don't really have like a, a bad selection. But then again, I mean, when you're coming out to market with a bait, like yeah. it better be good. You know what I yeah. mean? Unless it's the banjo I lure. I don't think anyone's trying been... to make a bad lure. <laughs> Bro, I, I re you remember those banjo lure ads like 15 years ago? Yeah. Stupid, man. My buddy actually caught a 13 pounder on one though. What? Yeah, like giant. Oh, that's dude. nuts. Dude, look at this though. I actually think I used this in the first challenge, but we might have to go back with it today. What is that? Um, so it's called the Ready for Action Worm. 
And, and she's ready for action. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> you see the little spinners? I see that. I don't really know what's going on here. This lure looks like it has like an identity crisis she, of some kind. She's just ready for action. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, it's like you've never seen before. I feel like that's definitely a good bait to go with. Yeah, same thing. It's a hit it and quit it type of bait. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is the question, Fletcher. What color should I get? I I feel like that little pink action, dude. You see that? I don't know. This looks like the worst color, if you're asking oh, me. Dude, I didn't want to. I didn't see that one. <laughs> that one's pretty ugly looking. Oh, dude, that's horrible, bro. Do I really gotta do it? I mean, it is the worst of your challenge. I don't want this one because I feel like it'd almost be stuck like that. Yeah. I don't know. They're probably both. It's the worst lure challenge, dude. We're doing it. That's what we're doing. Ready for action worm and sweet tater pie. And he's got a vegetable in the and, uh, oh, smush uh, frog. Uh, yeah, smush frog. <laughs> I don't so. know. Is this like underwater or top water? I'm, I, 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 don't I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. You ready? The key is to vary your retrieve, Fletcher. Bear, okay. I haven't Speed heard of that up. one before. Slow down. Remember, you want your lure to act scared. Okay? That's so you, great insight. So you want your lure to be looking like he's lethargic, right? I feel he's a little scaredy cat. After all, a predator fish is looking for a quick meal. Or is he? Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's the big question. Is he looking for a quick meal? Or is he? Or is he? Take these out and see how easy and effective they are to use. Well, we're gonna try it out today and we're gonna find out. Maybe it won't be the worst lure, but we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. Let's go ahead and get out to the pond and catch some fish. Bro, when you're using the worst lures, you would think that they're gonna be pretty cheap. This freaking avocado is $8, <laughs> bro. Like, I can go get them fresh in the market around the corner for probably, what, 75 cents? Yeah. This sucker is $8, bro. And it better be catching fish. And then with these, it was kind of funny. I was reading them off. It says, maybe we're gonna have some good luck. Cream lures, the king of baits. Yeah, I don't know what. Well, I mean, I, there's an actual tornado. Having an earthquake. <laughs> All right, we're finally at the fishing spot for today. We're gonna see what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna go through a few rules to today's video. Yes, we're using the worst lures ever from Walmart that we think yeah, are these, the worst lures. <laughs> these, are, these are pretty bad. <laughs> they, they are pretty bad. And, the one bait that's really not bad is the Sanko, but it's just the color is wacky. Yeah, that's, just, that's some more better like term. It's crazy just like a color. weird, wacky color. But yeah, so this is the rules, Fletcher. We're gonna have a little inner challenge of this, okay? Okay. So first person to four fish wins the challenge, Ooh, but I... you gotta catch two on each bait. Okay. So I can't just catch four on this and then say I completed. So do I we gotta go. like go two on one, then two on the other, or are we go and like catch one and switch lures and catch one and switch back? Oh, it don't, don't matter. It doesn't order. matter. If you're like, hey, I wanna knock one out, you can do that. Okay, okay. So for me, I'm actually gonna start off with the old sweet tater pie, Shanko. We're gonna tie that bad boy on. I'm gonna actually put it on a Texas rig, so I'm gonna probably use like a quarter lead weight and then put a uh, three aught extra wide gap hook. That's gonna be my game plan. The reason I wanna start off with this is because I think this is the, probably the best bait of the bunch and I want to get on board right away. So when it comes to your two lures, Fletcher, what are you, I uh, mean, the avocado or, or the frog? Or the frog. I think we're gonna go with the roadkill frog. I mean, what kind of packaging is this for a frog? I'm just know. confused. This thing is flat as a pancake in here. It really is. So, I might end up Texas rigging this at some point, to be honest. I don't, I, don't, on the bottom. I don't even know if this thing is supposed to float, to be honest. We're just gonna have to get it out, see what is going on, but we're gonna go with the roadkill frog to start and then work our way up to the gourd. Yeah, let's see what happens, guys. We're gonna go ahead and tie up. Let's see if we can catch some big fish. Because he beat me in a challenge we just filmed with this stupid lizard. Hey, I, I ain't gonna spoil it. I ain't gonna spoil it. I've been on a roll. He's been on a roll, too. We had, a, we had a good little day. You do, you do need this win, though. I know, I know. Yes, you do need this win. So I'm just relaxing. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna win, but. <laughs> hey, if you win, I'll give you some props because those baits are a little chopped, bro. Dude, I, I don't know what's going on with this thing. This thing is wacky. This frog has Google eyes. <laughs> Look at this. They actually wiggle yeah. around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what 
What is he even next? Is that like a guard? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a little snap in. Dude, you might get slammed on you. We're talking all this trash about it, but you're probably gonna get just. I just don't know how I'm supposed to fish. Like, what is, is it supposed to be top water? I don't know. It's rigging up our little Texas rig. I actually got a little tungsten weight on here with that. We got extra water. Or this might be a four aught. If you guys are wondering how I rig it up, just pretty basic. Basic and simple. We're gonna put the black on top. Like there's like a black side. So we're just gonna push it up on the hook. Just like this. And we're gonna weedless hook it. This is a simple Texas rig, nothing crazy. This is probably the easiest bait out of the weird lures today. So, or worse lures. So we're gonna get started, see what we can do. I think we'll end up catching a few good ones. I mean, half the time I cast this thing, it lands on one side. Half the, half the time it lands on the other. This frog is like one that's been baking out in the sun, like a classic roadkill frog. This thing is stiff as a board, look at this thing. It's like one of these things. Like, oh, 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 oh. Dude, oh. I got slow. I didn't just get slammed, bro. Slobber? This might be the best lure I've ever used. <laughs> I mean, all right. And you can back me up on this, Fletcher. This spot is actually not easy to get bites no, at. No. It's going to go from worst lure, worst lure to my favorite lure ever. Yeah, we got slammed. Right when I threw out there, I let it hit the bottom, and he was just going dun 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 dun. I feel like a little small guy. See if he's got any teeth marks on it. I don't see any teeth marks. Yeah, I see a, I see a couple little nibbles. Okay, here goes nothing. Spot number two. I'm gonna work these edges. I think that's my best game plan. Starting to rain a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna help me or hurt me. What are you doing over here? <laughs> I heard someone sniffing around back there, dude. Oh, fish around here do some funky things. They're, they're unpredictable. Do you think the avocado is going to be better than that? I, I don't know, dude. I mean, I feel like the avocado will at least have more action than this thing. Spot number 756. Honestly, dude, these fish, I know if I'm tired, I know these fish are tired. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Dude, it's bad. It is bad. I'm only here for a hot minute now, guys. We've tried like six different ponds. I don't know how many of those that actually got in the video, but I mean, we cannot get a bite to save our lives right now. All right, y'all, changing plans. We're actually in the boat now. We could not do the pond fishing anymore. Fletcher, how, how was that? It was rough, dude. Yeah, it was not I good. We gave it all our, our all for like two hours, and I mean, I'm falling apart out here, but <laughs> uh, it, no bites, no bites in two hours. So we're out on this lake right here. We're gonna see what we can do. I think we're gonna end up catching them pretty good. We're, it might take us a second to get on them, but I think we'll eventually get on them. It's just the ponds were not it, and uh, we're just beat, worn out. So we're like, let's go put the freaking boat in. So that is what we're doing. We're gonna pick up where we left off. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep throwing the ready for action or if I'm gonna switch to the Senko to start this one off on this lake. Um, but I guess we'll see what we can do and uh, hopefully we'll end up catching some big ones as well. We got old sweet tater pie. We're gonna start off with it. Me and Fletcher are about to go head to head with it and see what we can do. I just, we're ready to catch some fish. Finally, so I'm, We're finally somewhere I'm feeling a little bit more yeah. confident sun's coming down the waters the what i think the biggest thing is the water like the water looks it, it still looks a little stained in here but it's nothing how this ponds have been this ponds have been so stained guys and just nasty yeah i think fletcher's gonna end up getting freaking wrecked on that clobbered yeah. on the on the gorge <laughs> <laughs> the avocado we got avocado and some sweet tater pie I mean, I don't know how many times I have to tell you it's a gourd. I mean, it's an avocado. I'm dude. pretty, I'm pretty bent out of shape about this. <laughs> you know. Listen, I want to get a bite in the first five ten minutes, and that would I would be the happiest man on, on earth. I don't even care, man. Beat me, freaking catch, <laughs> catch four. I just want to see some dang fish. <laughs> yeah, I'll put on the ready for action when we got some action. Getting back after it with the old gourd. Noah calls it an avocado. I'm calling it a gourd. 
I mean, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Gourd or avocado? It might be a gourd and gourd and an avocado mixture. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's a hybrid. A hybrid. Yeah, it's like an avocado and a gourd had a baby, <laughs> yeah. and then put a hook on the back of it. You know. And a buzzer. Yeah, a little bit of buzz bait action. You know, great great grandma was a buzz bait back in the day. Uh-oh. Yeah, I do. I do. Finally. Is your buddy? He's a sweet potato. Oh my God. But the most lethargic bass. I actually just put him on the hook. Look. Look at this fish, dude. Just chilling. He's kind of like not healthy. I mean, I mean, he lethargic wanted. just like us, dude. Everyone's he, out of it. He was about to get him a little bit of sweet potato, a little bit of nutrients. A little bit of nutrients up in here. Come on, boy. I mean, I'm as lethargic as him. <laughs> Y'all are just vibing over here. All right. That is our first fish of the dang video, and I am happy about that. Pretty fish, first fish, and it's a sweet tater pie. Look how skinny he is, bro. That's why he didn't eat your bait. Just a little skinny. Yeah, he just, he wanted to slurp up a sweet tater pie. <laughs> okay. Well, swam off okay Dude, he put no fight. It was like, he bit it, kind of like a bluegill. And all of a sudden, I hooked him. He fought for like two seconds, and he was done. <laughs> he was just done. All right, we're on board, guys. I'm probably just going to, I'm going to try to bang out my second fish. Because we're not doing it in a specific order. No. So I am going to try to just get my second one. And then we're going to switch to the ready for action. So let's get it. We can get a good four or five pounder, six pounder. The sun coming down. I just feel like something's got to clobber this top water. Yeah, no, the conditions look great for it. Like realistically, it looks better for moving baits right now. It's like cloud cover. Yeah. Getting later in the day. Fishing has been a little weird today, though. Oh, you're gonna get. You know one? Dude, I got a big and big one? Oh, like big, big? Dude, big. Oh my god. Like, oh, oh boy! Oh. Oh, oh, boy. oh, on the tater. Bro, he felt like he was about 17 and a half no, pounds. I mean, he's, don't get me wrong. He's like a four or something, but. He's a four and a half, if not a five. Dude, he felt freaking large, Fletcher. I like, thought he was, I thought he he was like an eight. I thought he had like a six plus. <laughs> oh my God, he's really hooked, bro. I'm talking like Just sliver of lip. Please, please. You want me to put this camera down or you want me to help you? I guess that's, both, both of those are the same thing. Look how barely she is. Get her, baby. Get her, baby. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's crazy. Come on, boy! Yeah! That's a chunk. Look. Look at this. That's the sliver of skin. I'm actually just going to do this. Watch. What Ooh. in the world, dude? I should not have landed that fish. I'm gonna be honest. That is a blessing to land that fat guy. It's probably a high three pounder. Oh yeah. But dude, that fish was fighting. I mean, just, I'm soaked. My, look at this, <laughs> yeah. oh, I am drenched, bro. This fish was an aggressive one. And look what we got today. We got an old scaly. We'll flop her on there. What is this? She might be a four, I don't know. I don't know, dude. She, when she was three. flopping around the water, I thought she was like up close to five. She looked huge. All right, I'm gonna say she's a three eight something. What do you want to say? I'm saying three, three point seven five. What is she? Three point seven five. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it went three eight two, and then it, it locked in at three point seven five. That's crazy. Wow. I mean, she does look like she looks like a high three pounder. Oh yeah, she chill. Beautiful fish. I mean, just super fat, pretty markings. I mean, that's. That's a great bass right there. She put up a good fight. That's what you want, man. This is a straight pancake. Straight pancake. Absolute slab of meat. Wow. You gotta love that. <laughs> I'm excited to get my ready for action. I'm, I was kind of having a little bit of fun with that, dude. Now I'm like 
kind of sad that I got to put it away. But or I could give you a little break, dude, and I could throw it maybe one more time and hook me another <laughs> fish. Yeah. I might do that. Matter of fact, we're gonna go for one more. <laughs> one more on the table, and then I'll switch. Yeah, dude, I'm. You feeling it? Yeah, dude, I want a big one, dude. I want like a six pounder now. I'm telling you, that bite's gonna be ruthless. I just You're gonna have say that, and I'm gonna literally have one just come up and. <gasps> Oh, butcher! Oh my God! Behemoth! <laughs> butcher! <laughs> Did you see his side, or you didn't get a I look? Didn't, I never saw Bro, him. I heard the blood. Butcher! Off. That was the biggest fish I, I've ever hooked in here. Really? Holy! Dude, my bait hit. And it was game over. I heard it blow up. I was like, he must have ate it like as it like right as it touched the water. Bro, when I hook set, I couldn't even move. That that was a fish that doesn't bite ever. Yeah. And he just happened to <laughs> I happened to hit him on the head. That dude, Fletcher, that was the biggest fish I've seen in this lake. Well maybe we need to start throwing sweet taters in here more. What in the world? Like Dang. guys, I you ain't. Get a good look at him, dude. I got a solid. That fish was every. I mean, if it wasn't seven, it was a high six pounder. Yeah. That fish was huge. I saw his whole. Dude, look. Th I mean, probably that, but he's that wide. Like, yeah. Thick. Like that fish was built. Dang, dude. I mean, you saw the blow up. It looked like yeah. a gator swirled. I mean, it was like. I saw you couldn't move him. Yeah. No, I hook set, and all I felt was his big head. Holy cow, I can't believe that just happened. If I'm gonna get to use the, the ready for action worm, I think I'm gonna switch to that, just so I can get some kind of action, because I've been waiting for action all day, haven't got any, and I'm, you know, my patience is running thin, so we're gonna cut this gourd off, this gourd avocado. Are you going for the frog? Yeah, dude. I'm just doing it, me and Fletcher switched. I think that's fair, because, one worm yeah one, he one picked two worm. frogs i picked two worms so all right guys here goes nothing fletcher hates this thing <laughs> he despises this frog I, I already had this like gut feeling you're gonna catch one on it like <laughs> like first five casts <laughs> probably that's probably how it's gonna go he's kind of funny looking kind of dude like I don't know he definitely looks like a pancake all right guys well here goes nothing let's see uh what we can do with this bad boy i already got one bait knocked off the list i just gotta get two fish on this and then if i do so i'll secure the w this <laughs> destroys it how i like it bro you don't like that i have a question though did you cut his head off or is it no. Yeah. Oh, I, I bit the tip off a little bit. I kind of like it. It makes it pop. Yeah, I, I, that, that helped it. This might be my favorite frog. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pink fish are looking at it like, what is that? What is that thing? Or that might have been the best bait out of the ones I picked. I don't know. <gasps> oh! Dude! He just came up and slurped it, Fletcher. Oh my. Oh, God. he's going crazy. He's a freaking. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Where's my frog? I think I did, bro. It's literally gone. No. I swear, bro. Look, it's literally gone. Oh my gosh. Maybe it'll float up. Is that it back there? Is it really? I think I might see it. Unless it's a bubble. I think, or is it it's torn in half? I think. <laughs> I think that's, is that it? <laughs> is that it? Yes. You see his leg? I see a leg and I see, I see his body. Oh my gosh. Guys, well, shoot, I'm on my way to victory. Yeah, my frog floated to the top. This is a fatty too, man. Oh my gosh, what a little stubster. He crunched on that dang frog. <laughs> that is funny, dude. Well, shoot. We are on board, guys, with the old frog. My frog is ripped in half now. We're gonna have to figure that one out. Thank you so much, buddy, dude. 
I, I don't like that you ripped my frog in half, but thank you for biting. Look at that. That's a pan. That's a that's a hamburger. Yep. Hamburger. So big old meat. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I watched him come up and just sniff it and he was like, yeah. You know what sucks though? Look, it ripped down the frog. Good luck with that. And he's missing a leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. feasible. It's... I'm going to be honest. I'm so ahead in this challenge, but I don't know how I feel about it. I might not catch another dang fish. All right, Fletcher. I guess I'm going to see what I can do here. I might rig him backwards. I don't even know how this was rigged before, but... That really doesn't look bad, other than it's got one leg. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is the worst lure challenge. Fletcher, you can't let me run the train. I run, mean, run the... I'm doing my best, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you're the one who didn't want this puppy. I'm aware of the situation. <laughs> you don't got to remind me. Dude, if something eats this, honestly... I don't even know what that looks like. It looks like a dang little mermaid swimming through the water. His little arms up. I'm not gonna lie, this challenge is getting the best of me. Today is not my day, ladies and gentlemen. I kinda wanna bullet weight this thing. Okay. I think I'm gonna throw a bullet weight on it. Ah, dude, I was thinking about sending a message for Yeah. Oh! Yeah! Stay down, stay down! Oh no, ready for action! Let's go! <laughs> you ready for some action on that one, wasn't you? Are you ready to rumble? Get on in here, fat. Oh, Sally. Break it. Oh. There you Boom. go. Atta boy. Yes. Fletcher on board. That came out like that fish was not hooked at all. <laughs> really? Like not even the slightest bit. But we are on the board. Finally got herself a nice little chunky girl. She was ready for action apparently. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you didn't get white, dude. No. You, you brought something to the table. Something. I'm just glad I didn't get skunked to be honest. We got some, some fish to make up for, but we're gonna get started with this guy. Let's get her on in and get on to the next. Later, darling. Nice, dude. Thanks, bro. Did she slam it? Uh, no, she did not. She, she up on it? Yeah, she just she just did something to it and wasn't slamming it. That's all I know. All right, guys, we are going to conclude this video. I I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, we had fun with this challenge. Uh, it was definitely the worst lures that we possibly could have got. I, at the beginning, I was like a little weird with our options or our choices. But now, I mean, dude, I agree. Don't you, Fletcher? Definitely. Uh, definitely the worst lures that you can buy at Walmart. Like, <laughs> maybe besides the sweet tater. Sweet tater yeah. kind of was saucy to be, not gonna lie. Dude, I mean, I had like a potential seven pounder on the sweet tater. The avocado, the gourd, the kiwi, that that thing was just not it. <laughs> I cannot believe it. it. And it looked like the best bait that we had but it just didn't pull through today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Go check out Fletcher's channel in the description box down below. I appreciate everybody's support. Um, all the comments that you guys leave on the videos and the likes and the shares, I really appreciate it. Um, but drop some video ideas down below and I will catch y'all in the next one.